Hello, my name is Rebecca Maunda, uh, mostly known as Becky, uh, and I'm here to share my story. Um, so for a couple of years now, I have uh, dealt with something that, well, first I thought it was something that is not really necessary or, yeah, just something I can keep uh, by myself or I can deal with it a lot. So um, I grew up in a way where I felt like I have to do something in order to uh, get praise or to get recognized or to be acknowledged, okay? So uh, because of that, uh, when I became a Christian, I always thought I had to, you know, do something for God to accept me or for God to fully love me. So uh, whenever I, I have a flaw or I make a mistake, um, I always felt like, no, let me fix this. Let me do it by myself because God does not want you know, naughty kids. There's a saying in my language, in Senga, which says, uh, this means that if you're a child who does not obey or do things that you're taught to do, then you are likely you not know, to receive good things. And that is something that I feel like I've grown up with and it has really affected my Christian Christian work. Uh, for so long, I've battled with that, and uh, most of the time, it's something that I was like, okay, it's cool. Uh, I'll, I'll do my best to work out my salvation, to do my best to stand uh, right with God, but whenever I sin, and I'm aware of the fact that I've sinned, it has been a struggle. I would criticize myself so many times. I would look down on myself. I would not even pray because I feel like God does not want to talk to this girl anymore. God is mad at me. Why, why do I do this all the time? Why should I repeat the same thing over and over and over again? Until, well, next, no, rather last year, I was through so many things. I went through... Uh, investment lost, job lost, being beaten, going to court and whatnot. And I was like, Jesus Christ, what's happening? And I found that it's easy for me to accept that. It's easy for me to forgive people. It's easy for me to let go of what people have, have done to me, okay? But for me to forgive myself, to look at myself in the mirror and say, Becky, you did something wrong, but God loves you still. Oh God, that is something that I was like, nah, bruh, there is no way. I gotta fix this first. So afterwards, after last year, I just became a little bit numb. Like God, I've been so, I've been through so many things, and right now I just don't want to talk to you. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, he's good, and I, we kind of came through the situation of like let's reason together, and we did. Then early this year, I decided, okay, let's do this again. Uh, I had even put uh, talk with Becky on pause because I felt like okay, I don't have the energy to deal with this. I've been through a lot. So early this year, I was like, let's go back to talk with Becky. Let's continue doing videos and whatnot. Then afterwards, I decided to start a series talking about my journey as a Christian, which is, who are you? Uh, I even read the Bible, I prayed about it, and everything was on fire. Uh, then I did my first introduction, which uh, really talking about who I am and uh, what Christianity is all about. Then the second video I did it, then I was like, Nux, this is there's something wrong here, there's something that is not happening. Uh, then I was brought to uh, realize that I have not really accepted the love of God. I haven't, every single time, I feel like I have to work it out. Uh, people, when they just want to love on me or share a compliment, it has been a struggle because I feel like there is no way that I, Becky, can be loved this much. And uh, that really brought about so many memories of the things that I've been told when I was younger, like, you know, you kind of not worth it or you are heartless or you you're so naughty and whatnot so I was like geez am I really worth this like are you telling me that if Christ had to leave heaven just for me he would do it no way this is not real this is not real so I had to pause my series I was like Becky you have to deal with this and you have to realize that you are loved regardless of your mistakes regardless of what you do now God loves you God 
is there for you. He does not love you because you do great things or because you have talk with Becky or you, you work with special needs kids. He does not love you because of what you do. He loves you because he created you for him. And saying those things, it's easy, right? It's easy for you to like, okay, say those nice things. I mean, I talk to people, so I, I say nice things all the time. But for me to really embrace that, for me to carry that, for me to walk with it, to believe it, and for it to be my identity, it has been a struggle. And I was like, okay, until I get it, until I understand what I'm talking about, until it has become my identity, I will not share, I will not continue with this series. And that is how I posted. it. And it has been, um, yeah, that moment where I am now in my background at home, just really um, meditating on God, allowing him to love on me, allowing him to, to be my father, to love me regardless of what I've done. And um, I don't want to share so much, but uh, just recently I feel like I did something that was horrible, at least to me. And that really also brought back to the, this memories and this thought of like, God, do you ever learn? Do you understand that this is not something that you have to do over and over? And I'm like, okay, so now how do I go back to God and say, God, hi, it's me, Becky again. I have done this. Do you still love me? Because that is the thing. I've always thought like I have to do something right. I have to do something good for God to love me. And I am learning or rather relearning that God loves me regardless of my flaws, regardless of the things that I've done wrong, I've done right, regardless of whether people love me or not, regardless whether I get likes on Facebook, on Twitter, on Facebook, I mean Instagram, whether people say Becky is good or not, he loves me. Whether my parents say they don't, whether my friends say they don't, he loves me. And that is something that I've been trying to embrace, something that I've been trying to, uh, to accept because it has been hard it has been really a struggle and if God can look at me and I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like God if you can love me this much if you can really bring uh, this little girl into this person that she is right now if you can raise me to the Becky that I am right now then I don't think there's anyone else out there that you cannot reach out to I don't think there's anyone else that has done things that I feel like they're not acceptable and that this is why I have the courage or the I have this desire to reach out to people because I know that if God loves me this much if God accepts me uh, despite of my flaws despite of my mistakes and the things that I do and don't do I know for a fact I know for sure that he can do that as a matter of fact he loves you he has this desire to connect with you that he just want to lavish his love on you and you need to understand that he doesn't love you because you've done something he loves you regardless because he says before i mean we were still sinners he died for us and that is something that we need to accept so this is something that i've been accepting something that i've been embracing and i hope that you'll be able to understand that god loves you regardless of what you have done or you haven't done i love you he loves you more. I am Becky and that is my story.